It should come as no surprise that abortion has been one of the most heavily debated issues in American history. Different moral, ethical, and religious views split the country on this controversial matter. Furthermore, the legality of abortion affects the rights of women and everyday citizens. Therefore, it is imperative to discuss this polarizing national issue. The procedure essentially divides the nation into three different groups. Pro-life supporters, who do not believe in abortion, even to protect the mother. Pro-choice supporters, who fully believe in abortion. And pro-choice supporters, who believe that it is the woman's decision, but do not personally agree with abortion. In this speech, I'm going to tell you about the history of abortion in America, why it's important to you, and what is at risk with the legality of the procedure. First and foremost, let's discuss the history of abortion in America. According to Alternet.org, abortion is not a new practice. In fact, the Egyptians prescribed crocodile dung, and the ancient Greeks recommended pennyroyal, which was an extremely toxic herb as likely to kill the woman as it was to abort the fetus. Other abortion aids included sitting over a vat of boiling onions, mashed ants, camel spit, and deer hair paste, and even stepping over a live viper. Now, prior to the 1870s, abortion in America was legal. Then, the first state abortion restriction law, which was passed in Connecticut in 1821, was a law attempting to ban those remedies since they were often so poisonous to the mother. Now, everything changed in 1873 when the Comstock law was passed, which banned the sale and distribution of any materials related to abortion or birth control. Just a short aside on birth control, the legalization of the birth control pill had tremendous positive effects for women. Before legalization, in 26 states, only married women could obtain the pill through their doctor's prescription, which meant that single women were forced to abstain from sex or self-abort if they did become pregnant. After legalization, women were able to start their own families on their own schedule and stay in the workforce which helped to diversify households and workplaces as women made a huge step in gender equality. Unfortunately, the pill was not legalized till nearly a hundred years after the Comstock law prohibited women from proper access to contraceptives. Britannia.com explains how crippling the Comstock law was to women as male medical doctors used these restrictions as a way to assert dominance over women, taking power away from the females of the time. By banning safe abortion and birth control, women who became pregnant were forced to turn to alternative methods. According to David A. Grimes in his book, Every Third Woman in America, they jabbed into their uteruses with knitting needles and coat hangers, which Dr. Daniel Michelle sometimes still found inside them. They tried to insert chemicals, drain cleaner, fertilizer, radiator flush, and miss the cervix, corrode an artery, and bleed to death. The restriction of abortion endangers the lives of thousands of women. However, other people believe that abortion is hurting the children of tomorrow. TFPstudentaction.org argues that life begins at the moment of conception, and this is a belief that comes from the traditional Christian Bible. That being said, if life does begin at the moment of conception, then abortion at any stage in the pregnancy would be considered murder. Now this idea was challenged in 1973 in a landmark Supreme Court case known as Roe v. Wade. According to PBS, Roe v. Wade ruled a state law unconstitutional as it banned abortions except to save the life of the mother. Roe v. Wade was and continues to be one of the most polarizing Supreme Court decisions in American history. Liberal pro-choice citizens feel that it is a woman's decision whether or not she terminates her pregnancy while traditional pro-life Christians see it as an encroachment on their God-given rights by the government. With both women rights and God-given rights on the line, it can't be denied that abortion is one of America's biggest debates. The traditional Christian portion of America will never agree with the liberal portion about abortion. There will always be disagreement about when the life of a child begins, and that is okay because it is impossible for the moral compasses of over 300 million Americans to align. But as a nation, we must find a middle ground that protects both our women and the rights of our citizens. The legality of abortion is a concern to each and every one of us, and regardless of your position, it's crucial that you're present for the discussion. Thank you very much.